Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Grand Cat and welcome to round two of the Return to Duelist Academy. I uh, on the left plays the Grand Cat and I'm going to be using Aster. That is of course big old Aster Phoenix or Edo Phoenix if you played the original Japanese. We're putting one starship on the line and I am against Wyvern who is playing his actual Brody so we need to roll dice. So the rest of these matches are going to be best of one judging by how long the round one was. Okay, you get to choose first or second. I shall go second. Okay, so then that means I shall be going first. Ooh. And there we go. We'll give this a quick shuffle. Okay. This is me to go first. So one, two, three, and four. Hmm. Mulligan. <laughs> I would love to. I will play reinforcement of the army and search my deck for a Destiny Hero Diamond Dude and add it to my hand. Okay. Good old diamond. Then I shall T-set and pass. Alright, that's not friendship, that's dictatorship. Well, <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's me. Effect. Wrong chef! Uh, effect to add a blades accelerator. Mm hmm. Let's add it to hand, right? Yep, yep. please. Yep. When someone add one bloody accelerator from Necro Graveyard to hand. So you want to play at least <laughs> Just summon add blazing accelerator pass. Uh, add fake blazing accelerator. Yes. Pass. Effect. Mm hmm. Discard. Yep. Is it just destroy anything? Yeah. And just you can't activate. Destroy a monster. Okay, target one monster. Your point control, send one fire monster with 500 or less attack. We have to fever. And if you do, your monster can't attack the target you activate this turn. Yep. That's yep, right. Cool. Same. It was a DD warrior then. Okay. Skill. Yeah. Activate skill. This mm -hmm. becomes try blazing accelerator. Mm hmm. Send Triblaze Accelerator. Special summon. And I think that's off camera. Yeah. The, the camera's there. So, there you go. Yep. And pass. Okay. So, draw. Oh. Okay, so we shall use my skill to look into the future because Aster is, of course, very well known for looking at the top three cards of his deck and just rearranging them in whatever order he feels like. Hmm. I'm yeah. still well known for being a cheap dog. <laughs> <laughs> I shall go to that order. Um,
Then I shall normal summon Diamond Dude and use his skill to excavate the top card of my deck. And if it is a normal spell, I send it to the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, placing the bottom of the deck. And during the main phase of my next turn, I can activate the effect of that spell in the graveyard, even if I no longer control this face up card. Uh, what beginning of the end does is if I've got seven or more dark monsters in my graveyard, banish five dark monsters. That is the cost. And then effect is draw three cards. And I can activate that without paying its cost, which means I'm just going to draw three cards. Which is neat. And we're just going to set this and. Let's see, what is it Doomfire does when I declare an attack? I have to either attack it? Yes. Um, during your opponent's battle phase, attack position monsters your opponent controls must attack this card. Mm -hmm. If able to, when this card destroys a monster by battle, send all. Um, Hang on. And sends it to the graveyard, destroy as many monsters on the opponent's control as possible, and if you do, inflict 500 damage for each monster destroyed by this effect. Okay, well, in that case, I have my turn. Right, this flips over. Uh, I do not have to actually to enter the battle phase. Okay. You can do that with Curious if you don't. Yes. Wait. My turn? Mm -hmm. Draw. Hmm. So, how much damage does it inflict? 500 um, per monster. 500 per monster destroyed by this effect. Yes. What kind of rocket? Mm -hmm. Effect. Yep. Search. Wait, accelerator. I'm not sure why two Blizzard Accelerators are being played. You only need to do one because you can search from graveyard, but uh, that is does not mean they made this deck. <laughs> I guess it goes to the damage. I also did not make this deck that I'm playing. <laughs> that is why it is not a good deck. In case it goes into the damage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should damage check it out. <laughs> I would do. I would do you that. <laughs> that was check for one up. <laughs> hmm. Which might be fucking sick because my opponent attacks damage, so. Battle of face. Attack, what kind of rocket? Are you sure you want to activate him? Do you want to activate anything? Uh, no. No? Okay, good. Uh, damage step. Uh, Rising Energy. Discard one card from my hand, target one monster in the field, and that monster gains 1500 attack till the end of this turn. This one. So his attack is now 29. So that means that uh, your monster is destroyed and you take 1000 damage. Okay. Bonk. That's why I asked. <laughs> sure. Behold fire, honest. <sighs> <laughs> so he's now got 2900 attack. Till the end of this turn. Yeah, till the end of the turn, yeah. Mm. Attack with Volcanic Rocket. Still the battle phase. Yeah. Hmm. We're just going to draw three cards next turn, so we can have four attacks. I will indeed. Uh, but what does beginning of the end do? <laughs> no, that's just. Uh, Oh, that's boss man. Oh, that uh, shall be a penalty. He shall lose one of his dual troops. Can I get? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can I not get? Yeah. Oh, what? What? Thank you. I appreciate it. Nah, I think for now I just pass. In retrospect, maybe we should just all pass. Yeah. Okay. Then I uh, draw for turns, and then during my main phase, I shall activate the effect of my beginning of the end, and I ignore the entire cost and just go into the effect to draw three. So I shall indeed do that. I actually say what order was there. No, I'll just drop you. One, two, and three. Ah, that looks quite nice. And I shall now once again activate my skill, because it does not. One per duel, it is just every single turn. As long as you don't activate a spell, and that does not count as activating a spell, because it is an effect that I have done. I shall look at the top three cards of my deck. One, two, and three. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Mm. I shall put them in this order. And I shall activate the effect of Diamond Dude to excavate the top card of the deck. Oh, it's a spell. Oh. And this is a Jama Delta Hurricane. If I control a Jama Green, Yellow, and Black, there's the cost. The effect is destroy all cards the opponent controls. So I ignore the, uh, the cost and shall just use the effect. Neat. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and set this. And let's summon Diamond Dude. We're going to use Diamond Dude's effect because it's not, well, it's once per turn, Diamond Dude. And, oh, 
look, it's the beginning of the end. Oh. I'm going to draw another three cards. Yeah, that's cool. And I reckon I shall end my turn there. I hmm. never thought about that. Just use two diamond dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Raw. Multi diamond dude. Okay, so you've got Destiny Hero, Diamond Dude Green, and Destiny Hero, Diamond Dude Black, and you just need Destiny Hero, Diamond Dude Yellow, and you'll be able to activate your Destiny Hero <laughs> Delta Hurricane. <laughs> Uh, I believe it's called it oh, yeah. Destiny Hero Diamond Hurricane. Oh wait, Diamond Blue. Wow. Oh, Diamond Blue. I, I believe it's called uh, Diamond Dust Tornado. <laughs> Do you want a cloudy card? No, Diamond Dust Tornado is what DDT stands for. Apparently. Oh, like the, the rest of the movie. Yeah. Do you know that the way that that move was created was um, Jamie St. Roberts had been drinking the previous night, as oh. he was known to. And he put someone in the headlock and stumbled and fell backwards while the person was in the headlock and didn't let go. And the crowd went mental for it. And he was like, huh, that's interesting. And that's literally the invention of the DDT. Beautiful. It's like a Accelerator. Yes, indeed. Um, pass. I acknowledge that you have played a Blade Accelerator. You just played Blade Accelerator. Pass. On my monster. Set one. Mm hmm. Activate blades, it's alright. Oh. Okay, and Diamond Dude has been destroyed. Oh, Diamond Dude. Great. Now you can't. I mean, I think that one was. I yeah. can't remember what I yeah, called him. Yeah, we've got Blades Accelerate means you do cannot declare any attacks this turn. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can Okay, me? Yep. Uh, draw. Then I think I shall start by using. Ujama Delta Hurricane to destroy all cards on your side of the field. Oh, it's all cards? Yes, it includes uh, spells and traps and monsters. I thought it was all monsters. I have done many attacks for it. <laughs> I have. Yeah. I genuinely thought it was all monsters. Like yes, that. it destroys all cards, indeed. Mm -hmm. And, um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, one. Let's <laughs> use looking into the future first. Uh, because I'm not planning on activating any spells. So one, mm. two, and three. Uh, I will put them in this <laughs> order. And then I shall use my beginning of the end to activate the skill to draw three cards. One, two, and three. And now I shall use Diamond Dude's effect. Phew. Ah, uh, unlucky. There was a Shire the Mage. It goes to the bottom of my deck instead. So instead, I think I shall Donald summon a second diamond dude and activate his effect. Yeah, stun Java Delta Hurricane, which means that next main phase I will be able to destroy all cards on your side of the field once again. I think I'm going to send one and I shall enter my battle phase and I shall attack you directly for 14. Yep. Which means that you go down to 1600 light points. Mm -hmm. And then I shall attack you directly with my diamond dude. Do you want to activate anything? In that case, in the damage step, I shall activate this rising energy to discard a singular card from my hand, give him plus 1500 attack until the end of the turn, so attack you direct for 29. Then that is game! There we go. That is how Aster wins, and that means I get to steal this starship. We're still using starships, which means Aster is now up to three starships. Ooh. And there we go, folks. That is it for this little video. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see even more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.